Our mission today is to catch a space safe flight to Hawaii or anywhere. Let's see if we can do it. Live life on your own terms. This is Two Doves Nation. Let's, Let's fly. fly. Hi, I'm Amanda and this is Ace and welcome to our channel. If you're new to our videos, we vlog, we eat, and we travel to share our experiences. If you would like to join the Dove Nation, hit the subscribe button down below. Five in the morning, let's fly. We decided to buy a lunch box at Lackland. It was around 550 and it comes with some pretzel, water, a can of soda, onions, cookies, lettuce, tomato, and a turkey sandwich that had a lot of meat. Overall, it was okay. This is the entrance to the terminal. And to your right is the passenger terminal lounge and dining area. This is also where the USO is located. You got bathrooms on your right. The USO right here, it's rather small if you don't have children. You're only right here in this area but in the back is a playground and stuff for kids. So we have big city tacos. So right here's the USO, and then right there is the Enterprise. Little eating place called Big City Tacos. Smells good. Smells like barbecue chicken. This is the front desk reception area of the Gateway Inn or it's also known as I'm going to show you why I say the Gateway Inn and and the Royal Alakai. You have to park across the street and they have a big size parking lot so you can check in because their little driveway is blocked. That was the office, and now we're gonna show you how close the BX and the commissary is to the actual hotel. So, depending upon which way you're facing, um, that was the parking lot we were in. You take a right out of the parking lot, or if you're on the same building as the office, and you're gonna come to a stop sign at Hangar Ave and G Street. Right there is the shopette, and they also have a tire store there, but just know that they close pretty early. I think they close at 7, and that is actually the closest place to get alcohol. You take a left onto, what street is this? street this is and I mean the car ride is not even five minutes technically you could walk here if you didn't have a car but it would take about 10 to 20 minutes to walk here and if you're carrying stuff you know and here's the post office and the commissary is on your left so see, that took like two, three minutes drive. And then straight ahead is the BX and their little food court is right there. You also have some banks right there over in the corner. I don't remember what banks they are. And then there's the exchange. 
And I just want to say that exchange is the biggest exchange I have ever been in. It's like two stories. The first level is household goods and everything. And then up top, they have like furniture and some clothing. But then they have a totally separate entrance and section for the clothing and like personal care. Like women's makeup and purses and everything. We are in building 1158 and our room number is 5532. Not if you don't have a key. Welcome to my humble abode in Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh. Hawaii Fi-O. <laughs> this is our room. Our hotel is called Gateway Inn, but when you read the signs, it also says Roy Alaakai. Um, so just be aware of that when you come onto Hickam. This is your sitting area and you can see the other building. We are in the corner and this is a queen deluxe suite. Little desk area and you'll see our luggage over there simply because the room's a little small and it's easier just to put the luggage over there and little TV, but what's really nice is a full kitchen. You have dining area, coffee maker, they even give you soap and dishes, oven, a microwave, a toaster. So we actually went to the commissary and got some stuff for dinner last night because we were so tired and some water and beer but this is a beaut there's even a dishwasher but they only gave us enough soap for a one time so I went ahead and washed the dishes by hand here is the bedroom it's nice like I said it's a little small but it's nice for what for here for what we're paying and everything super nice you got two nightstands with lights and you even got a TV in here. You have a full-size mirror, which is really nice when you're getting ready there in the morning. And you have a big closet. We could put the luggage in here, I guess, but that's okay. And a safe and a dirty laundry basket. They have laundry facilities available here, and you're on base, so you also have a laundry mat. But our unit includes a washer and dryer. Fancy, huh? And here's the bathroom. There's me. It's a little small bathroom, but it's okay. And the shower. The shower was a little complicated for me this morning. You use this knob to turn it on, and then you use this one to adjust the temperature. But I couldn't figure out how to turn the shower on. So tip, pull down on this thing right here to turn the shower on. I know I'm so silly, but it took me a minute to figure it out this morning. There's lots of lighting and they have fans in the rooms. They also have a dehumidifier. So that's the extent of our room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. 
a great asset whenever you're traveling space A is your MWR. They will be able to tell you what different tours are available in your area and they sell the discounted tickets so you can always get your military discount. There's also, here at Hickam, there's also a movie theater just right beside the MWR. Let's go see what the MWR on Hickam has to offer. inside the MWR and we got several brochures but what we ended up booking was tomorrow night or tomorrow for the Polynesian Cultural Center and we got a package that includes like the village tours and canoeing and the luau and the fire show tomorrow night but be aware that whenever you're booking or whenever you're doing space aid that a lot of times there's not anything available that same day we wanted to do the polynesian tour today or do some of the sailing tours but they were already all booked for today and we were here at about 10 45 to start booking some stuff so just be aware of that the great thing is though is whenever you use your MWR you do get the discounts and with our Polynesian Cultural Center package we saved a little over a hundred dollars um, for the both of us so at least fifty dollars a piece we saved to get this package here at the MWR and it just took us less than, less than 30 minutes to get it booked with them there are a few food options here on Hickam Base right here on the general commissary area. The commissary is a little bit over here. And then bus, right across the street from the commissary is the exchange and the BX. Uh, the BX also has a food court that has like Popeyes and Papa John's and there is a Starbucks in that food court. Around this area, there's also a Burger King. This, the commissary in the BX is about a 15 minute walk from the Gateway Inn where we're staying on base. We actually decided to go with the third option. Uh, in the parking lot where the Burger King and the BX is, there are some food trucks and they generally serve i think all of them start at like from 11 till 3 or like 10 30 to 3 and we're gonna try some food from the food trucks all right this is their thursday special and i got oxtails and rice with collard greens and a little piece of cornbread and of course hot sauce trying the oxtail and the rice first. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That's slap your mama. They flavored it so well. I don't even think I really need hot sauce for it. It has that much flavor. Let's try the collard greens. They're chopped up really fine. Mm. They put some vinegar in there. They're collard greens. Okay, I came to Hawaii and I'm having like some of the best Southern or Caribbean Southern food I've tried. This is the bomb. All right, what we have here is spicy poke bowl uh -huh. which comes with two goza and there's a bed of rice underneath and we order an extra goza five piece and try this part hot oh, it was nice and crunchy and delicious oh, it's hot that's in temperature wise not spicy wise all right let's try some of the Spicy tuna poke bowl. I had one earlier yesterday and it was delicious. Shut up. 
Mm. I see why Hawaiian people eat cocoa all the time. Because it's delicious. Yum. Now we're going to show you how far it is from the BX to the terminal. It's not that far. Um, we were told it was like a 10 minute walk. We were told it was like a 10 minute walk. No, you're gonna be walking a good 20 to 30 minutes from the BX to the terminal. Let's see. And there's a sign that shows you where to go for the lodging check-in at Gateway or the Royal Alakai. And there's some housing. It looks really, I mean, this base is very well kept and pretty. And you can see the planes just right here, but the terminal is a little further down. You can see some mountains. Hangar number 19. So you take a left on O'Malley Boulevard with all the palm trees. I guess it would only be 10 minutes if you don't have any luggage. Yeah. But I you're right. It, it might be 10, 15 minutes if you don't have any luggage. But if you're lugging your you're, stuff, you're you know. You're runners. The well, yeah. If you're a runner and nothing, you're not carrying nothing. But if you're packing luggage and everything else, it's going to take it a little bit. And this is the terminal. So it's not even a five-minute drive either from the BX but it's a little bit of a walk. I would say, what, a mile and a half, two miles? Which, if you're, you know, fit military, that's nothing. And this is the terminal right here with the palm tree swaying over the building. And they do have a rental car service. They do have an enterprise here. That's how we got this rental car which is nice. So you land from Space A and you can get you a rental car and figure out what you need to go from there. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and check out our other videos. This is Amanda and Ace reminding you to keep soaring to the end. Out.